Hello, I'm Stephanie Tower. Never miss the Bitcoin beat. This is Coinbe Calls. A bill proposal in the U.S. Congress seeks to study blockchain. That's our top story this week. Representatives Darren Soto, Brett Guthrie, and Doris Matsui filed a bill requesting the Secretary of Commerce to conduct a formal study on blockchain in the United States. According to the draft revealed in May this year, the study must include the state of the blockchain technology and its use for consumer protection, among others. The bill requires the Secretary of Commerce to make an effort to catalyze its adoption, accelerating the research and development, and the implementation in the country with over 300 million in population. The lawmakers' move appears to be a way to give the country an advantage in this cutting-edge technology. It also aims to protect the U.S. from rules other governments like China and their industries are creating around blockchain. China is already preparing to launch a nationwide rollout of its Digital Yuan or DECP. DECP will allow Chinese citizens to pay for goods using approved e-wallets propelling the world's second-largest economy towards a fully functional cashless society. Meanwhile, South Korea began leveraging blockchain to prove its citizens' identity, and it appears to be starting a blockchain war among tech giants in the country. Three of the largest telecom companies in South Korea have reached a deal, enabling the use of past driver's license mobile ID platform. Since May, over a million South Koreans have been using the blockchain-powered identity app linked to the police's license verification system. With Pass, users can show their driver's license and confirm their identity through a barcode or a QR code on the app. This means over a million motorists in South Korea are driving without licenses, at least not the physical ones. According to media reports, these actions can wage a blockchain ID mobile war. Moreover, the nation's tech firms such as Samsung, Kakao, and Naver confirm that they will unveil their own blockchain-powered ID solutions this year. And this week, popular Bitcoin SV applications launch new features. BSV Wallet SendB now allows its users to withdraw their funds directly into their bank accounts. This is a welcome addition to SendBee's other features like buying airtime and data and paying utilities from their app. Moreover, Bitcoin social networking platform Twitch introduces Twitch Chat. It is a fully encrypted messaging app that allows users to chat privately. This encryption represents, and we quote, a significant breakthrough. Users can now control and profit from their data while protecting it from third parties, including Twitch. Twitch is leading the way on showcasing all the possibilities of building on Bitcoin. With its new releases, the teams behind Sandby and Twitch express their commitment to integrating with as many other applications as possible on their platforms. And that's it for your weekly Coingy Pulse. I'm Stephanie Tower. Visit Coingy.com so you never miss the Bitcoin beat. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the new world of esports on the blockchain. The game-changing experience unconstrained by anything but our imagination. Create games without limits on the only blockchain without limits. Revolutionize esports with the massive scaling power of the Bitcoin SV blockchain. Imagine building the best and most popular esports title. Create a virtual universe built on game integrity seamless access to data and player insights, and the metaverse. Build gaming worlds for the lowest cost and fastest microtransactions for in-game items and tokens. Make pro features accessible to all and easily host more prize tournaments. Get new revenue streams for game developers. When it comes to games, the only platform that's stable and scalable is Bitcoin SV. Discover how you can start building the next generation of eSports games.